Hello and welcome to another edition of Solar PV TV's Global Weekly News, powered by PV Magazine. Coming up in this week's edition, as our top story, Jinko Solar will spin off a yield go as the company reports growth in revenues and profits. In market and policy updates, India plans to install 100 gigawatts of solar PV by 2022. The US Export Import Bank signs a $1 billion MOU with India. China can double its share of renewable energy to 26% by 2030. Bolivia and France to cooperate in solar, lithium and nuclear power. And France awards 40 megawatts of PV projects. Business headlines. Blue Star Alchem will buy REC Solar. Trina Solar surpasses 1 gigawatt of module shipments during Q3. Mondragon Assembly will take over the PV equipment business of Grossable Group. Sun Edison has formed a JV to build over 1 gigawatt of solar PV projects in Brazil. JA Solar grows revenues 72% during Q3. Solar World and Enphase announce a global partnership. Comtex Solar revenues crash in the third quarter. SPI will acquire 168 megawatts of PV projects in China. Hanwha Solar One is still in the red despite increased shipments. And Conergy will build 41 megawatts of solar PV projects in the Philippines. Technology news Fraunhofer ISC increases efficiencies using rear side snow globe coating, and LG Chem and Siemens will collaborate more closely on industrial battery storage systems. Starting with top story. Jinko Solar reports substantial growth in its third quarter results, as well as confirming its plans to become the first large Chinese PV maker to spin off a Yieldco vehicle. The company increased revenue 30% year over year to 417 million US dollars, as well as tripling its profit. Jinko Solar has also sold off a 45% stake in its engineering, procurement and construction division, which currently has 488 megawatts of solar PV projects under construction. In market and policy updates. Indian Energy Minister Piyush Goyal has set a new goal to install 100 gigawatts of solar PV by 2022, a five-fold increase over the previous target. This announcement follows the awarding of 1.5 gigawatts of solar PV projects in the previous three weeks in three states, and Mercom Capital has predicted that India's solar market will double in 2015 to 1.8 gigawatts. In more India news, the chairman of the US Export-Import Bank has signed a memorandum of understanding under which it will provide up to $1 billion in funding to support US solar PV exports to India. The Export-Import Bank has already authorized $350 million US dollars for renewable energy exports to India over the last five years. The International Renewable Energy Agency, or IRENA, has released a new report which finds that China can double its share of renewable energy in electricity generation to 26% by 2030. IRENA's REMAP 2030 report expects solar PV to achieve the greatest growth. Bolivia and France have signed four letters of intent to cooperate in the areas of solar energy, nuclear power and lithium production. Bolivia currently has a single 2 MW utility-scale PV plant, but plans to expand to 25 MW of utility-scale PV, as well as launching several off-grid solar electrification projects in rural areas. France has awarded feed-in tariff contracts for 217 mid-sized solar PV projects in the third phase of its national solicitation. These projects will supply a total capacity of 41 megawatts. <music> Business headlines a division of the state-owned China National Chemical Corporation has agreed to buy Norway's REC Solar for 640 million US dollars. Blue Star Alchem Investment Company would acquire a Luxembourg company that would in turn own REC Solar Holdings, as well as all of its assets and liabilities. Trina Solar reports that it has shipped more than 1 gigawatt of PV modules in the third quarter of 2014. And while the company has grown its margins on more shipments to Japan, Trina lowered its 2014 project guidance to between 330 and 360 megawatts. 
Spanish PV equipment maker Mondragon Assembly has taken over the solar business of Spain's Grossable Group. Mondragon said the move solidifies its position in the PV sector and its role in the development of PV module production lines and the company plans to offer new products in the Grossable range. Sun Edison is forming a joint venture with Brazil's largest renewable energy company to build 1 gigawatt of solar PV projects in Brazil. Renova Energia and Sun Edison will each hold a 50% stake in the JV, which plans to install over 100 megawatts of solar by 2017. JA Solar has increased revenues 72% year over year in the second quarter of 2014 to nearly 500 million US dollars. The company also grew shipments of PV cells and modules to 785 megawatts above its guidance. CEO Bao Fong Jin attributes JA Solar's growth to success in Japan and China. SolarWorld and Enphase have announced a global partnership under which Enphase will supply its microinverters for SolarWorld's custom engineered solutions. The companies also plan to collaborate in the development of new technologies and products. N type monocrystalline wafer supply Comtex Solar has reported a 44% quarter to quarter fall in revenues in the third quarter of this year. Comtex did not comment on the reason for the decline. SPI Solar has announced that it will acquire 168 megawatts of solar PV projects from developer TBEA Sun Oasis. This includes a number of plants which are nearly complete in western China. Henwa Solar One has reported record third quarter shipments of 370 megawatts in the third quarter of 2014. And while the company also reduced its losses in half on a year over year basis, it remains in the red. Conergy plans to build two solar PV projects totaling 41 megawatts on the island of Negros in the Philippines for a joint venture of Thomas Lloyd and Bronze Oak Philippines. The plans are expected to come online in June 2015. Technology News Using a technique it calls snow globe coating, Germany's Fraunhofer ISC has developed a titania rear side PV cell coating technology. The institute says that the resulting coating boosts PV cell efficiency by reflecting light back into the PV cell. South Korea's LG Chem and German engineering company Siemens have agreed to collaborate more closely on industrial battery storage systems. This announcement comes only days after automaker Daimler said that it would cease production of its in-house battery cells and instead use LG Chem cells for electric and hybrid vehicles and stationary storage. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and we look forward to meeting you next week. <laughs>